Okay, guys. Okay, I'm put the muffler on. And this guy right over the saw. This is the one that uh, the tree fell on. And I think I'm going to find some stabs, guys. This makes it a little bit more of a booger to get off, right? Yep. Rather than falling off on you, using yourself. Had that happen. What I just did there was I just pushed out the two uh, gaskets that were on the bottom and fell off the bolt. Yeah, I've got a plan for the old muffler that came off of this course. The 
this case. You know, probably eventually go back on this. But for now, this is what we got. This is what it's gonna get. And I probably should put a lock tag on those that we don't like those out too. Just make them really tight. This one, of course, is busted. It's not really the full, but we'll put there in There is a tiny, tiny bit, but it's still kind of there. So, we'll do at least something. I'll show you in a second when I get in here. got about that much holding it on there it was enough to actually make the metal here uh, be pulled inwards so it'll hold it good enough She sits for now. Bars back on it. Doesn't seem to have that sound. I don't know exactly yet. Because <clears throat> I haven't ran it in wood. So I don't know if it's got the squealing sound. But. It's back together. Bar here is straight. I don't have this piece. For the. Uh, break. But. It's mostly going to be on a mill. So it's. Not terrible. So, here we go. Not that bad. Still be able to, you know, use it correctly. I did bend this back to best as I can. <clears throat> it does feel, you know, okay in the hands, I mean, you know, Could be a little awkward, but not terrible. I've ran saws that were much more uncomfortable than that. In fact, 
actually I think one of them are up here. The uh, McCulloch 350. That saw is uncomfortable to me. Yeah, this one up here. here. This one here. You guys will recognize it probably. Little top handle saw, basically. Gee. Uncomfortable for me. I don't like it. I would actually rather run the Super 2. Which, actually, I really need to get this one fixed up. And the, uh, I've got another one that I need to get fixed, too. And these little guys can actually go out and do some cutting. Um, this one's only up here because of the chain tensioner, I think. I don't know, I've got so many projects, guys, that uh, I'm kind of lost on what I need to do next. So I'm just kind of being like, okay, I'm going to work on this today. I'm going to work on that. As you can see, I've got bike parts, too. I'm working on slowly on the 1978 uh, Honda XL 125. So, that project is going. I did actually get the um, Honda 100 running for a little bit. I figured out what the problem was. The uh, ignition coil was bad in it. So, it wasn't getting sufficient amount of spark. Like the uh, st second stage on it. There was a first stage and a second stage. The second stage, I do believe, was the one that was bad. So I tested that on the um, multimeter. And on the ohms reading. And it didn't give me the right reading. So that was bad. So I replaced that. Replaced the points as well as at it. Uh, as you can see, it's filthy right now because I had some fun when it was muddy. Um, right now, it's starving for gas because the tank has rust in it and the petcock uh, to turn the gas flow on and off down here and this one guy is getting plugged up with rust and ain't letting gas through so it's basically starving itself for gas so I'm going to have to literally take the tank off, drain it out get the rust out of it and then put tank sealant into it and then seal it up over a couple of days put it back on and then it's probably okay and of course put new seals and stuff into the petcock I've got a short apparently in my uh, emergency on off switch so as soon as you turn on the light, you're not going to do, it will drain the battery immediately. So I can't do that. When the bike is running and you turn this on, it dies completely. So it's got to straight the ground somewhere. So i got to figure that out. On-off switch doesn't work, so the key is the only way to shut it off. I don't have horn, so that is not really working, and that's also another button for a horn that, for a different model. <sighs> working with what I got. Uh, that's all I can say. Getting things done, slowly but surely. We're getting there. Guys. Um getting tired it's night time treat people how you want to be treated at least try to and do what makes you feel happy hit the like button subscribe if you feel like it <laughs> I'll see you in the next video oh also real quick I don't know if you guys are actually into gaming or not 
but I have a YouTube channel. It's called uh, Crazy Zone. It's got a picture of like Spyro on it for the uh, mascot, whatever. Um, that's my gaming channel, and that's what I've been doing mostly is just gaming. I haven't really been uploading, but I feel that I will start doing some uploads once in a while, uh, more often on that channel than my other channel for a while, just because that's kind of what I'm doing. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and check it out. If I can, I'll put a link in the video, either up here, somewhere, or down in the comments. Definitely down in the comments there will be one. Doodles.